welcome to English Through Experience. This is another video for GCSE Edexcel English language students. This time we're going to get started really quickly and look at question two. So you'll have already completed question one, you'll have read the text and now you are asked question two for two marks. So we're hoping to complete it in around two minutes. You are asked from lines 1 to 10 to give two ways tiredness affected Cornelius. You may use your own words or quotations from the text. Okay, so there's options in terms of how you do it. You don't have to do it the same for both of your examples. So for one, you might just give the quotation. For the other one, you might feel you want the quotation and a little bit more explanation in your own words if you're not quite certain about it. Or you might just put it into your own words. So there's a bit of flexibility there. I would suggest you go for quotes where you can. Keep it simple, quick and easy for yourself. So what I'm going to do now is read lines 1 to 10 for you. And then I want you to pause the video and set yourself a little timer on your phone or if you've got a watch with a timer go for that get that timer set and pause and get your text in front of you that's in the description box below and see if you can get the answers so once you've had a go at it two minute task uh, then what we'll do is look at some correct answers and we'll also have a look at some real life student examples and hopefully see if you can mark them and see if you can get it right in terms of how many they got out of the two possible marks. Okie dokie then. So just a quick recap from lines 1 to 10, two ways tiredness affected Cornelius. Cornelius had watched for three days and nights and he had not closed his eyes. The progress of his work was slower than he expected. In spite of his anxiety, sleep waited upon his eyelids. Again and again, he threw off drowsiness with more than human energy. Again and again, it stole away his senses. He eyed his crucibles wistfully. Not ready yet, he murmured. Will another night pass before my work is accomplished? You are vigilant. You are faithful. You have slept, my boy. You slept last night. Look at that glass vessel. The liquid it contains is of a soft rose colour. The moment it begins to change colour, awaken me. Till then I may close my eyes. First it will turn white, then emit golden flashes. But wait not till then. When the rose colour fades, rouse me. I scarcely heard the last words muttered as they were in sleep. Even then, he did not quite yield. Okay, so pause if you can. Or if you're not going to pause, just uh, get down to that description box and have a read of the text and see if you can come up with the answers to our question. It's just a recap here from lines 1 to 10, which is what I've just read. Two, just two ways tiredness affected Cornelius own words or quotations, one mark for each example you provide and you're given the space to do that. Two mark question, got to get all those marks. So, any ideas? I'm going to start with a straightforward example. So this is real life example and I want you to think how many marks they scored. So our first student said, and not in quotations, the progress of his work was slower than expected. And then they said sleep waited upon his eyelids. Okay, so if we look at the text, yeah, right at the beginning, we get this sentence, the progress of his work was slower than he expected, which they did quote exactly, but they just didn't put in quotation marks. And then we get this part in quotation marks, which is Sleep waited upon his eyelids. So we can see that that's actually all part of that one sentence. The progress of his work was slower than he expected. Bing! In spite of his anxiety, sleep waited upon his eyelids. Bing! So that's those bings are where I would be, as an examiner, dropping those ticks and saying, yes, two correct answers 
with quotations. Okay, let's have a look at another example. So we've got here our second student. Sleep waited upon his eyelids. Okay, so same one. We know they're going to get there. Bing for that. And then they've gone for, you have slept, my boy. You slept last night. Okay, so this comes a little bit later on in the extract. But what we're looking for, the question focus, is two ways tiredness affected Cornelius. So the fact that his assistant slept and he says that to him is irrelevant. It's not about Cornelius and uh, his progress and um, the way tiredness affected him. So we know that that student unfortunately only got one. So I'll give you one more, uh, our student number three. They have said tiredness, quotation, stole away his senses, showing the reader he was losing concentration. And then they've gone for sleep waited upon his eyelids, meaning his eyes were heavy and it was an effort to keep them open. So what that student done, a student has done is given the quotation and then sort of paraphrased it in their own words which is great and for us learning it's a really good example but if you are short for time in the exam and you're confident that your quotations are proof enough that's good enough for us examiners that's fine you don't actually need that bit of interpretation but if you need it then that's up to you. It's you doing the exam, not me, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, uh, finally, I will give you my two examples, which were the progress of his work was slower than he expected. Bing, we know that one nice and easy. And then I went for drowsiness, dot, 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 stole away his senses. So similar to the third student who said tiredness, stole away his senses, showing the reader he was losing concentration. So you can see that I would have got that mark just for tiredness, stole away his senses, which would be a lot quicker to get down on the page. All right then. So I hope that question two one has helped. I know this is a challenge, uh, this paper, but I'm sure you will all be fine. Just get in touch. Use the comment section below if you've got any questions and tune in again when we look at question number three. Alrighty then, thanks for watching, bye for now.